Hi class, today you're on module three, lesson 11. So today you're going to count the total value of ones, tens, and hundreds with something called place value disks. So here are some place value disks and you're gonna be using your work mat, okay? So um, you know how to count the value of a three digit number, but before we were using um, a quick sketch using like a quick sketch for blocks. So for hundreds, remember you were drawing a box for a hundred. For tens, you would draw a stick. And for ones, you would draw a circle. So now instead of using those quick sketches, you're going to be using place value disks. This is a disk for a hundred and it has the value hundred. This is a place value disk for tens because you see the value of 10 is on there. And then you have the place value disk for the ones, okay? Ones, tens, hundreds. So today what you're going to do is you're gonna use these place value disks to represent a three digit number. So let's say that I have the number 241, okay? So let's think about that unit form. I have two hundreds, four tens, and one one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get two disks for 100, 100, 200, then four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then I have my one. And that's it. So I have two hundreds, four tens, and one. 100, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 241. Pretty simple, right? So you're also going to be using the disks, but you're also going to be using a sketch to sketch them. So instead of sketching the blocks, you're actually now, if instead of using the disks, you might go like this and do a disk, kind of like a circle, and writing that value instead of the block, you can draw a disc and write a 10. So it's just a circle with a value in it. So it looks similar to the disc, okay? And then a one will look like that. Okay, so let's try a new number. Let's say I have the number 463. Okay, so I need my unit form, 400s, Six tens, three ones. H is for hundreds, T is for tens. That's an O for ones, not a zero for the number ones. Okay? So just like before, I'm going to get four groups of hundred. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Then six tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then my three ones. One, two, three. Okay, so now I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 461, 462, 463. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can do this on your own. Let me just show you if you're going to sketch it. Let me show you what you would do. We will eventually be using sketches only because it's more efficient and it's faster, okay? So for this same exact number, I would draw three groups of 100. I like to draw the circles first and then write the value inside. It's faster, but you do what you want. Okay, then I'm gonna draw six tens. Don't forget to write that value inside because that's what the disks are, and then my three ones. Don't forget to write that value. Same exact thing, a little bit faster, don't you think? Okay, so today what you're going to do is you're actually going to be given a worksheet that looks like this, okay? So instead of using your problem set, we're going to change it up a little bit, and we're going to pretend like we're going to the store to buy some things. We have a kite, some balloons, ice cream, flour, a clock, and a toothbrush. So up here it has the numbers for each item. And then over here, this is the worksheet that you're gonna be using. Okay, so it says dimes and pennies because you're buying things and so you need to use money. 
So a dime is kind of like the 10 disc and the pennies is like a one because it's dimes are worth 10 cents and pennies are worth one cent. Okay, you're not using money today. You're going to be using the discs and a drawing. Like I said, the reason why we're using money is because you're going to the store. So you need to buy something. Okay, so here are the directions. You bought six items at the store. Draw how many dimes and pennies you use to buy each item in the boxes below. Use these pictures for dimes, like a 10 disc, and pennies, like a 1 disc. Okay? So for number 1, you're going to write number 1, the item up here, the kite. So the number is 75 cents. As you can see, these are all two-digit numbers because when we go into three-digit numbers with money, that would be dollar bills, and we're not quite there yet, okay? We will get there eventually in a later lesson. So, so what you would do is since it's 75 cents, all you need to write is the value. You can also write it like this with that dollar sign. When you write it like this, you need to have the dollar sign the zero in that dollar place because that means it's zero dollars and then that period right there that's called a decimal point it separates the dollars from the cents okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to you can use your place value disc but you also have to draw them okay so think about that that unit form relate it to that unit form blank tens blank ones so think how many tens and how many ones then you're going to draw how many of each. So for the first one, I'll help you. So we have seven in the tens, five in the ones. So I'm gonna draw seven groups of 10 and five ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, don't forget to write that value inside. And then five ones. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. And that's it. Okay, so go ahead and you're going to do the use, make sure you use this sheet to help you complete this today. Okay, and that's it.